hello everybody on this hot and muggy Northern California day. I This is my very first time making YouTube videos and my love for bourbon. So I'm going to try blind, two blind testings. I'm no aficionado. I don't put my pinky up when I drink. I'm just going to try them, tell you what I think of them, and then pick the very favorite one. Um, my wife was so nice to set this up for me. So I actually have no idea which two bourbons I'm going to be trying today. Um, same amount pours in the Glen Cairns, and let's give it a whirl. I'll let you know what I think. So this is cup number A. Nice color. It's actually really nice, deep brown. Really nice legs, kind of like wine, where the alcohol goes down. Very nice. Nice smell. Definitely picking up a, like a dark fruit. Maybe cherry definitely there's an alcohol smell but not not overpowering I wouldn't guess this is a real high powered and by high powered I mean at least 115 proof that's that's when you start getting in the higher round, uh, proof rounds oh, that smells really good and then this is cup number B a lot lighter than cup number A it does have nice legs too though when you swirl it but in comparison wow that's like Pepsi versus Mountain Dew on us. I mean, quite a difference. Let's see what it smells like. Different. Way different than that. This is maybe floral, like almost like a flower. Um, again, I don't think it's a very high proof, just from the nose. Interesting, okay, well, let's see. I'll test number A first. Give it a nice swirl again. I'm, I'm impressed by the color, the color's beautiful. I hope it's coming out nice on the video. But anyway, cheers. Nice, nice spicy first swallow. Almost hot to the tongue. Reminds me a little bit of like a big red cinnamon gum flavor going down. Let's try it again. Nice. It's got actually a really nice aftertaste. Now I'm going to try drinking a little water in between, so clear my palate just a little before I test number B. Whew. Like I said, it is a hot Sunday, Northern California day. I can't wait to finish this video and go swimming. It is just scorching here. I think it was 113 yesterday. So again, this is cup B, a lot lighter. It's a really nice yellow, actually. It's almost like looks like a flat beer, um, color-wise. And smell, yeah, it's a, it's got a distinct smell. I've not. Wow, I have no idea if I've ever even had this before. I mean, this smells. But anyway, all right. Cheers. Here's the cup number B. really light not spicy at all actually I take that back the afterburn the after swallow is just a little bit spicy but not bad again it smells sweet and flowery different okay well now that I've tested both of them I would definitely say my palate is I like the sweeter, I like the spicy occasionally. I like the higher proof. I'm definitely going with A. Um, A to me is exactly usually what I go for. I like Kentucky bourbons. I like a little bit higher proof, even though I don't think that's very high proof. Um, Do you have any guesses on what it is? <sighs> guesses? Either. I, I'm guessing A is possibly I don't even know. A might be 
uh, Michter's small batch bourbon and B possibly Penelope um, well wrong on both so now I'm you wrong on both <laughs> See, oh my wife tells me I'm wrong on both so um, those are my guesses I yeah I I definitely prefer A over B B okay. is not my so whatever B is never buying that one again <laughs> Got it. All right. Okay, so, so you want to know what they are? Yes, bring them out. So, okay. Nope. Oh, you can't touch, son. You're too young. Turn it one way up. Just turn. All right. So I'm going to turn around or number A. Pull it out again. Wow. Woodward, Woodward Reserve Double Oaked. Nice. It's definitely oaky. I, I get that. Be, I think you're going to be surprised when you found B. Wow. A, Wolf Moon. I mean, B. You, you, you really B. had B. Sorry. So B is Wolf Moon. And A is Woodford. I would say yes. I do not remember ever opening this and tasting it. I probably had it for over a year. So it's been and open it's in my from case. Indiana? It is. It's uh, Jason Aldean's um, bourbon. It's so 80 proof. Both of these run. It is 80 proof. Um, I think I paid $30 for Wolf Moon. Okay. And it's 80 proof. So like I, I was right on the, the light proof on that. This is only 90 proof, so again, I, I could tell the, the proofs were relatively low. And, and for me, any, like I said, anything under 115 is pretty light. Um, some 101s are nice and spicy, but uh, definitely Woodford Reserve Double Oaked is the winner of the day. And it's from Kentucky, right? Yes, it's from Kentucky. Yes, versus yes. Indiana. Proof, it's the Double Oaked. I don't know if I mentioned that, Woodford Reserve. Um, definitely the winner of the day. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to take this channel to the next level. So I'll be back soon as long as I get enough likes and, and subscribers. Um, I love doing this. My passion's for bourbon. Um, so I'd like to share just kind of what I think. And by, by no means am I professional. I'm just a guy having fun with the bourbon face. Thank you.